I'm Charles Babb. This is Scott Hamilton with Spirituality and Sports. Scott, talk about those God scheduled moments. Because ah, you, you use that scheduled you, God scheduled yeah. opportunities. What 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 is a God scheduled opportunity that's in front well, of you right of people, now? A lot of people call it a coincidence. Yeah, <laughs> not a coincidence. No, there's not no, not to me. But the thing is, is I always thought there were all these coincidences, right? It's like, wow, that was weird how that happened. And isn't that funny how I meet um, Tracy in Memphis? I thought she was a date of my friend Tony. Oh, right. Find out, you know, months later, you know, I meet her in Memphis. I'm in LA. Tony and I are talking. And he says, no, 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 we're just friends. And it's funny you should ask about her because she's moving to LA this week. And it's like, okay, that's a coincidence. <laughs> You know, there's all these coincidences. I just happen to be, I just happen to, that just. You just happen to get adopted by a mother who would give up just about yeah. anything for yeah. you. And a father too. Yeah. Not not to ever play short shrift to your father. Yeah. He, he gave up everything to, I mean, you just happen to be yeah. in Bowling Green. You I just did, happen to be, you I know. just happen to be like giving, my parents were, you know, taking a day off by putting me on a, on an ice arena that was just built the year before. You, the doctor just happened to say, send Scott, you yeah, know, let him go. Kids, it's yeah. not going to, it's not going to bother. Yeah. Just all these things just happen. And I look back and I just look at how it all kind of like strings together. And it's kind of like, I am so unworthy of all of this. And, um, it's, it's just extraordinary that, you know, when you have those aha moments, right? Mm -hmm. You know, I was um, going to church and Ken um, wasn't preaching that Sunday because he, he was traveling. And so he asked Jim Gash, who is a legal professor at Pepperdine, mm -hmm. legal professor, to give the sermon. And he stood up and he goes, full disclosure, I have no idea why Ken asked me to do this. But, you know, <laughs> it's one of those things where I've been at church a thousand times. I remember this one probably mm -hmm. more than any other. And mm -hmm. he said, he talked about his daughter and the loss of his wife and how they have these little, um, you know, these things that they do, which are really wonderful. And, and, um, and then he started talking about um, how he's really trained his mind to ignore the idea of coincidence mm -hmm. and to look at things more as a God scheduled opportunity. That's right. And it was like, that's it, that's it, that's it. It's God scheduled. Everything's God scheduled, um, and if you pay attention, you realize that, you know, all the people that are in your path, either they're serving you, or you're serving them, or you're serving each other. You know, it's not just these accidental happenings or meetings or anything else. And all those little things. It's like um, you spill coffee all over your shirt, so you're, you know, ten minutes late to get to the office. Did that just save my life? You know, all those things. Yep. So I don't question stuff like I used to. You know, I'm sniffing 60. It's all good. You know, I, you know, I, I, I got all those, this now, um, oh. this learned um, experience where I can draw and go, okay. <laughs> um, Squire Rushnell, do you know Squire? He wrote the book, um, God Winks. Okay. Okay, so God Winks are when, you know, it's like the God's good opportunity, right? It's just right. when the, it's God just sort of showing up. So he was, he sent me his book to LA and it went to the wrong place and I never got it. I never even heard of him, right? So I'm eating down here, just down the street about, you know, two miles. And I just go in there for lunch every now and then and um, just read the paper and enjoy a lunch, right? And this man walks up and he goes, did you get my book? And I go, no. And he goes, well, I'm Squire Rushnell. And I go, oh, nice to meet you. And he goes, well, I sent you a book. Did you get it? And I go, no. And he goes, that is so strange. And it's really so strange because my wife and I just happened to be in Nashville and we decided to go for a drive and we just happened to be in, in this restaurant and I just happened to have sent my book to you last month. And can I give you my book? <laughs> I love, love it. So we ended up sitting at, you know, I sat at their table for, I don't know, maybe an hour and just wore them out. And it was really... Um, one of those things where what his book is and what it means and what it does is exactly what happened in that moment. Nashville is not a small place and he right. was nowhere near for his right. meetings or for what he was doing and we just happened to end up in the same place. So that's kind of one example. But, you know, I look at, you know, just happened to be, I meet this, um, this gentleman 
through another friend of a friend of my you know management who just happened to be able to put me with the right person that allowed that any fertility to happen you know during my brain tumor number one that allowed for Max to be born. It just all those things just happened to you know this person knew this person who knew that person who connected me to that person and boom. So there's so much about this that I, I don't question. It's just um, and, it, and it's funny how it, it now you, when someone crosses your path, you take the time and you just say, yeah, I'm, I, I'm fine. Let's talk. You know, let's hang out. And it's kind of great. It's way better than just going, I'm really busy. I got to go. It's like, nah, nah. what's going on? <laughs> I love it. It's just a better way to live.